Hello, my name is Matthew Stevenson, and I'm here today to persuade you to give blood. According to the American Red Cross, one person every seven seconds needs a blood transfusion. Those needs are met by donors like yourself. Blood cannot be cloned, blood cannot be produced, blood can only be procured through people such as yourselves. Blood donations are in great demand. They come from needs of accidents such as car wrecks, from cancer treatments, and even from routine surgeries. Blood is a necessary resource for life, and the only person who can prescribe it and the only person who can give it to us is people like you and me. Over the next few minutes, we're gonna talk about the benefits of why you should get blood. What's in it for you? We're gonna talk about the physical benefits, the mental benefits, and finally, the social benefits. Each benefit compounds on itself, providing you with an overall quality of life and happiness. And it's my hope that by the end of this, you'll agree with me. The first subject we're gonna talk about is the physical benefits. According to Knight, Trudowski, and Harris of the British Journal of Nursing, there are two major benefits of giving blood regularly. First off, by giving blood regularly, you promote the growth of new bone marrow. Bone marrow is what produces red blood cells, but it also produces your immune system response. By having healthy bone marrow, you increase the likelihood of you fighting off disease, increases the likelihood of you pushing off cancer later in life. Secondly, it increases the amount of red blood cells in your body. Increased red blood cells increases the flow of oxygen. By increasing the flow of oxygen, you feel better, your skin looks healthier, and you have an overall feeling of happiness that would not be there if you had less blood flow. The second major point is mental benefits. According to the Journal of Behavior and Medicine, an article by Roberts, Rose, and Vogel of Experiences Believing, there are two main deterrents for why someone would not choose to get blood. Most commonly, it is time, and secondly, it's a fear of needles. We'll tackle the first one of being a time. According to GetBlood.org, the average blood donation takes between eight and 10 minutes. That is about the same amount of time it took for you to log on your computer, read my speech, and then put your response at the end. Eight to 10 minutes, you could have saved someone's life. So in my opinion, time's not really that important. 10 minutes can come easily to you. It could be scheduled on your time at a blood donation site, or it could be at a local bus blood drive. The second one is the fear of needles. While by no way do I demean your fear, I would say that overcoming your fear is a great way to improve yourself as a person. By overcoming your fear of needles, uh, you have to become desensitized to it, and regular blood donation would help that. By doing that, you develop coping mechanisms, coping mechanisms that can be transferred to other fears, overall improving your quality of life. It will reverberate down the line and make you an overall healthier individual both mentally. And then finally we have the social aspect. Our society says everyone wants to be a hero and I'm inclined to believe that's true. Just look at the movies today with the Avengers, with the DC Comics. We are a society fascinated by saving. We're a society fascinated by being a hero and I'm here to tell you that you could be a hero. Going and giving blood will allow you to impact someone's life. Allow an average college student such as yourself to get out of your home and do something meaningful for another human being. Our society praises it, and I wish that you would demand it of yourself. In conclusion, who will you save today? Whose life will you impact? At the beginning of this speech, I spoke of a statistic that one person every seven seconds needs a blood transfusion. This speech will average about five minutes, and during that time, 47 people will need a blood donation. 47 individuals, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, children, all of them needing a donation. And you're the solution. You can help them. You can find the time and day. You can overcome your fears. You can live a happy, healthier life. You can increase your blood flow. You can increase your immune system. You can overcome your fears and you can be a hero to someone today. So I challenge you today to go out and schedule an appointment. A handout that I was going to hand to you would have shown Life Share Blood Center. It's located in Beaumont, Texas, a few miles away from our school, and they're still accepting appointments. You can call this phone number or go to their website and do it today. Don't wait. 
Even if you're not in Beaumont, you're still somewhere within reach of a blood donation system. I'd like to thank you for spending some time today with me and encourage you to go get blood. Save someone's life and be a hero. Thank you.